Skateboarding in the Olympics? Yep, it's one of five sports added by Olympic organizers in Japan. Barry Tripp, co-founder of the Riders Club, thinks it's about time. His group promotes skateboarding, free skiing, surfing, and snowboarding among young athletes. A skateboarder was basically born for transportation. So if you get a kid a board for transportation, it becomes a tool for creativity, a tool that teaches them perseverance, because it's not very easy, and it's a tool to express themselves, hang out with their friends, and, and make friends that are like-minded. That X, that Alana route go down. Part of building a better sport is building venues. The Riders Club joined Build Maine through a project called Youth Build to put together a small ramp during a conference in Lewiston. <laughs> Build Maine wants to get people out of houses and cars walking and riding on public spaces, including streets. There's a lot of spaces, alleyways, um, back parking lots that, you know, they just don't get a lot of love. And we try and make people realize what they can do in their own communities to try and give those spaces some love. Mandy Reynolds is executive director of Build Maine. She thinks getting more people on the roads is worth the risk and the frustration they cause drivers. So we want to make the streets complete for all people and all forms of transportation. And, and I don't think that we should give priority or, um, I think that we have given priority to cars for a really long time. And I think we need to consider pedestrians and bicyclists and strollers and elderly the same or, or even elevated. Skateboarding and surfing have been elevated for next summer's Olympics. And for aficionados of those sports, now is the time to build in cities and towns all over me. Bill Green reporting, but not skateboarding himself. I noticed that. We were just talking about that, how none of us are. <laughs> I tried it for a brief period of time. It didn't work out for me. I'd uh, have to have a giant helmet. No.